Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. If not the most insane day ever in the history of cryptocurrency, then certainly one of the most insane days ever. There is a plethora of activity, first, a lawsuit has been filed against the Kraken Exchange for running an unlicensed cryptocurrency trading platform. Even though we received $30 million from the SEC, we are now embroiled in yet another action against Kraken class. Like we said before, most of what we see in the cryptocurrency space is a hoax. Scams abound, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, FTX, Binance, Luna, and countless more. 99.9% .9 of these projects have fallen victim to scams, and the same is true for exchanges. Just like the dot-com and bubble.com eras, we will experience the same thing. Virtually all of these cryptocurrency entities, including tokens and empty, will vanish when their value drops to zero. Be wary, everyone, because the banks and the top 1% have selected cryptocurrencies as their digital asset of choice. You got it XRP. The web of these dubious transactions has grown even wider now. According to Nance, we have Kaiser, who was the chief financial officer of the digital asset exchange Kraken and is now the head of SBB Finance. All of these transactions are interdependent and, as a result, huge frauds. In the latest SEC action against Kraken, we are learning more about which cryptocurrencies are considered securities, XRP is not one of them. Some examples include Dash Slanum, Near Polygon Flow, Algo Cardano, and many more. Great to see that extra P is not a security. Speaking of exchanges, Bitrex Global Exchange is closing down and won't let users withdraw USD. Bitrex US had to pay a $24 million fine for being an unlicensed broker in August. Moreover, we are now required by Nance to pay a price of $4 billion. The question is whether the men can afford to pay this charge, if not, bindings will go the way of Bitrex Global. Thus, the possibility of a financial collapse exists at the present time. Thus, Bitrex has also provided us with their message. As of Monday, December 4, 2023, we can observe this. Vectrex Global will temporarily halt all trading activity. As part of the winding down process, customers will only be able to withdraw assets after that date. Oh, my goodness, this is terrible. The next exchange that could happen is Biden's with Nance. Justin, CEO of Nance, CZ, has pled guilty to breaking criminal anti-money laundering regulations. On top of that, he left his position as chief executive officer of Sejep's finances. How did he decide to step down as binding CEO? But today, the Department of Justice is getting involved, and we're going to announce a big cryptocurrency enforcement action. They own most of the crypto exchange. And now we have seven, because Binance has paid 4.3 billion US dollars in settlements to the US authorities, which is the seventh highest financial find in history. Again, Ken Binance is the main attraction of the video. Make the payment of $4.3 billion. They will fall if they are unable to. The house of cards is about to collapse, and all the ETFs will be refused, because roughly 85% of Bitcoin's volume comes from illicit finance and Tether has been artificially propped up by false money. Another massive carnage is on the horizon, which might lead to a brief crypto crash before the bull market resumes. With the Bybit Exchange XRP reaching $37,000.124, we also have nuclear options. The switch will be flipped in this direction. I'll see you in the next video, bye.